Hello, my sewing friends. I'm Jen, and this is my sewing room, and this is Friday Sews. Friday Sews is when we talk a lot about sewing and a little bit about life. And I am going to start with a giveaway winner. And the reason I'm doing that is because it really annoys me when, you know, someone will make a video and they'll say, now stay tuned until the very end, just to make you watch their whole video. You know what? We're not doing that. Okay, I am giving away this book, which is Fitting and Pattern, pattern Alteration. It's a really nice book, really well written. I went to a random comment generator thing and it picked Patricia Oswalt. So Patricia, if you would be so kind as to email me at the address, which is down in the description box, I will get this in the mail to you ASAP. So congratulations, Patricia. Moving on. Well, this week I was kind of busy and it was because I got in here and kind of pushed myself a little bit. Well, the Sew Up Cycle 22 challenge wound up this past week. Um, it um, is a challenge on Instagram where you were supposed to take something that you had or something you thrifted or some kind of fabric that you thrifted, like a sheet or a shower curtain or you know something like that, and um, make something or make it into something else. And so I wasn't going to do the challenge because I've kind of backed away from Instagram challenges. I don't have time and I don't like the pressure because I leave it until the very last minute. Well, so I wasn't going to do this. And then at the very last minute, uh, I think it was the day that it ended. I thought, how could I not do this? What was I thinking? I am the queen of buying sheets and pillowcases and, you know, shower curtains, and I don't know, all kinds of textiles. Plus I do a lot of upcycling of things that I sometimes will buy on, at Goodwill or another thrift store. So anyway, I decided, okay, okay, what can I whip up this afternoon, <laughs> take pictures of and put on Instagram so I can slide under the wire on this challenge. And uh, I had a uh, lace dress that I had gotten while I was shopping on a on a trip to Goodwill with a couple of my wonderful friends Trish and Carol Trish from Pinky's Farm Carol from So Carol and I found this lace dress and I knew I wanted to make a little cardigan out of it and so I had taken the dress completely apart one evening so I had all the pieces and I looked through my stash and I found this McCall's 2128 this is from 1999 Literally, it is a back, two front pieces, and two sleeves. That's it. There is a neckline facing piece, but I didn't use that. I used a piece of trim and just came around and, you know, came down the front and finished it that way. I used the hem of the dress for the bottom of the cardigan, and I kind of fiddled around and trimmed and stitched and did all kinds of things to make the sleeve cuffs. So it's about a three quarter length sleeve but it turned out beautifully. I was really, really pleased. So I got that done. Then I knew I had tablecloths in a box down there, and I knew that those were for circle skirts. Um, my oldest daughter had gotten a couple of tablecloths for um, like 90% off at Hobby Lobby. So I whipped one of those up. And uh, so that's all done. And you know, I kind of did slide under the wire with those. All this talk and thinking about upcycling got my brain going and I pulled out the dreaded UFO box, unfinished objects. Hmm. Well, as I usually do, a couple of things I thought, no, no, I don't want to deal with that. But it was only maybe two things, maybe three. So I pulled out the rest of the things and I got to go in on them. Well, the first one was two skirts that needed to be made smaller. They were both elastic waist, took no time at all. I, and I, I, it was funny, I looked at them and I thought, why have I not done this yet? Because it's such a simple thing. It'll take no time. And it didn't take any time. In 20 minutes, I had them both done. So those were for my youngest daughter. So gave those to her. I have a t-shirt for my mom that I made a while ago. I, was, I made it for her for last Christmas. This is double brushed poly. I think, oh, I think it may have been a bundle from Walmart. I don't remember. It may have come 
from Carmen, Carmen Salome, my good friend. So I don't know, I can't remember, but this is the anything but basic tea from DIBY. And it just didn't fit. I think I cut too big of a size. And so I had taken the sleeves off and I had taken the, the cuffs off the sleeve. I'm not sure why I did that, but I'm sure, I don't know, maybe I just got, you know, seam ripper happy or something. <laughs> but I took it in through the side seams, gave it some shape, uh, put the sleeves back on, and that didn't take very long either. It does need a hem at this point, but um, I made it fit me, and I think that it's gonna fit my mom because it fits me. So I got that done. It just needs a hem, and I need to do a double needle hem, and I also am working on another project right now where I need to use a double needle, so I'm kind of waiting until I get back to that. Next thing I pulled out was this Vogue dress, Vogue 9586. This is from 1996. I've talked about this before, but this model had like a buzz cut and no hair. So I took a pencil and drew hair for her because I couldn't take it. I thought, oh my gosh, she looks so severe. So anyway, I had cut this out and put it together and I didn't like the fit. It looks like this. So this is a tencel. Lyocell, I don't know, some kind of thing from Joann's. I think it was clearanced and I just grabbed a bunch of it. It's a little bit stiff. Joann's, sometimes you run into that, so you have to be careful. But So the bodice for it is over there and I'm going to go back and um, decide what it is I wanna do. So I did that. Then I had a little dress that my friend Trish gave me and it previously had had lace going here here and then on down. It's just a little shift dress. It's lined, it's seersucker, it's so cute. Invisible zip in the back. And so I had taken the lace off because I don't know who whose idea it was to do that. It, was, it ruined it, it ruined the dress. So I put it on and I thought, this is great, but I'm not built for shift dresses anymore. I mean, this kind of a shift dress is fine. It's just straight up and down, it's cotton. It doesn't cling to me or anything, but this, this was just small enough, just, you know, tight enough around my body that if I were to move the wrong way, then all my rolls would show. And if I forgot to hold my stomach in, then that would not be good. So uh, I decided I'll cut it off. I'll cut it off and make it a top. So I did. So I cut it really long because I always do that in case I need more. You know, it's, it's just easier to cut off than put stuff back on. So I thought this would go beautifully with a linen skirt that my youngest gave me for my birthday this past year. I do have the rest of the what I cut off. And I think that this might work as a peplum. If I were gonna do it, I would pleat it rather than gather it. I know that sounds like, oh my gosh, why would you do that? I think that because this is as smart as it is, you know, it's it's just more, it has more of an elegant feel to it. I just think that a pleated peplum might look better. Now, probably what I'll do is just fold this into pleats and just see what I think. And if I like it, then great. And if not, then great. <laughs> And then uh, lastly, I found this little black dress and I had taken off the sleeves because it had sleeves. And for some reason, I can't remember why I didn't like the neckline, but I didn't like it. And so I took that off. I mean, this is a simple fix. Finish the neckline, finish the armholes. Um, so this is like a Jersey polyester knit. It might have some, I don't know. It feels like it's got some maybe rayon in it. And I didn't have any knit to make those things from, but I had power mesh for swimsuits. And I thought, ooh, that might work, you know, as a binding and as a neckline finish. I've seen that done in ready to wear. So I don't know, I'm gonna give it a try and see if maybe that'll work. If it doesn't, <laughs> I happened to be at Joann's this afternoon getting something else and I found some knit some black. It, it feels like crepe on one side, but it's a stretch. Maybe it's a stretch crepe, but it, it's like a ponty weight. But I thought, oh yeah, that'll work. So I got a yard of that. 
The reason I was at Joann's was because I am uh, caving to peer pressure and fear of missing out. <laughs> I want to make something not for me, but for my oldest daughter. And uh, I want to do that because three of my best sewing buddies have made this and they loved it. Well, when I saw this, when it came out in 2021, I thought, oh, no, that wouldn't work for me. For one thing, I don't live in a place where I need that kind of a thing. You know, I don't need like a fall coat or a winter throw it on and go do your thing and then come back coat. Clearly, this looks best with either leggings or tight jeans and boots. I just think that would make this outfit and maybe a hat. This, this model is wearing a hat and I just think this is adorable. Well, three friends made it and they all look amazing in it. And the nice thing about this is that it's a poncho, but you can put little sleeves in it. And I think that is brilliant. You are supposed to make the tassels out of yarn and something else, skein of yarn, piece of something, cardboard and yarn needle or crochet hook <laughs> yeah no mm, i don't know that i'm going to be doing that so i just thought that is perfect for my oldest daughter um, she lives in a place where she will be able to wear it all the time and you don't want a full-on winter coat because it's not that cold um, and you just need something to throw on that'd be great and she's also going to have a baby in about two weeks and so i thought oh if she's going to be nursing and out this is like a blanket to put, you know, she already has that over top of herself, so it might be nice. I walked around and I looked at fleece, I looked at double brushed poly, and then I ran across this. Oh my gosh. This is a cable knit. Well, no, it's not cable, is it? It's just a, maybe it's a rib knit sweater. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I couldn't believe I found it and it was half off. Oh my gosh. I just, I thought, yes, this is perfect. So this is about ready to go into the washer because I know she washes things, she dries them and that's the end of it. So she's like me. It's probably where she got it. So uh, the only other thing that I got this week was a stack of Daisy Kingdom little girls patterns because I've been on um, uh, the pattern D stash site and uh, on Facebook and I was making sure I had covered all the people that had ordered patterns for me and I saw these and I've started collecting these and so yeah those came in the mail this week so as for life nah I got nothing nothing's really going on Florida's beautiful it's warm and sunny the pool is open again uh, after the hurricane so I went over and did some laps couple of days ago and yeah everything is wonderful I mean no complaints so be sure that you check out all the Friday sews people you'll find so many people it's just such a great community and so supportive of each other and um, everybody loves everybody else <laughs> which is such a good thing especially today so um, as always if you'd like to see a list of all of my Friday sews then have a look right over here and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching and let me leave you with this. Do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with your God. I want to do that every single day. I hope you do too.